And this should give me 70 farming, so that's 70 plus all skills, except invention of course. So welcome back to the insane, Road to Insane Final Boss, and this episode I'm hoping to get to Elf City, so I just have, to f have a few more levels and a few more skills to go, and then I can just get to Elf City, but I did a little bit of Slayer, and so I can have enough cash to get to 75 construction, and uh, with after that, I'm guessing I'm going to work on crafting and dungeoneering. Some people from the clan uh, invited me to do some Virago, so I decided to go uh, try out some Virago with basically just my Chaotic Staff and Full Superior Elite Void. So yeah, it was just basically Leech DPS, but because it was Loot Share and I hadn't destroyed my LSP before, I got like all the drops, so yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> So yeah, it was my first time at Virago on this account, uh, basically just leech DPS, but uh, that was cool, got tons of drops, uh, 20 grapevine seeds, 20 tectonic energies, I could make that mask if I had 91 uh, rune crafting or whatever, but I'm gonna save those until I can make like the legs first. Got some rune plate bodies, which are really nice for me right now because I needed the cash, and then I got a lot of raw rock tails too, so it was pretty awesome, might do more Virago uh, if they'll... Uh, let me in the team. I'm always happy to be uh, a nice little DPS leech for him, but um, yeah, back to construction to finish up that 75. 75 construction, that's one more requirement done for Plague's End. Uh, so now it's just crafting, uh, prayer, and summoning, right? I probably have enough logs to get me to 79 construction for that uh, Lord of Vampirum requirement, but I'm probably not going to do that yet because I don't have cash to convert all those logs into planks, so I'm going to wait on that. And I'm going to do some Slayer in the meantime because I want 80 ranged for my newly bound Entgallo shortbow that I have in Dungeoneering. And yeah, I'm probably just going to get a ranged task sometime soon. I have Gargoyles in the moment, which is good for cash, but not for ranged XP. And yeah, one more level almost there to 80 range, then I'll go back to Dungeoneering for the crafting. And there it is, 80 ranged here at the uh, Spiritual Mages. Got a task for these. They're really good money, really good drops. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure about the XP. Um, they're probably pretty good XP too. But anyway, I can finally use my Entgallo Shortbow in Dungeoneering, so I'm going to go head back there as soon as I'm done with this task. Hello, what do we have here? Shadow Silk Hood. I think I'll go ahead and my bind this. It's kind of controversial if this is worth binding or not, but I find it, it helpful sometimes for puzzle rooms and in general for fishing too. Ooh, same floor as I got the Shadow Silk Hood. I got myself a Sagittarian Shortbow, which I can't wield for a long time, of course, but just to get this drop is really nice. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to bind the arrows because I already have 80 arrows bound. Really wish you could have multiple levels of arrows bound so you could stock up on the 99 arrows when you don't have 99, but oh well, I'll take the short bow anyway. Thock it to him done 100%, and that should be all five done, so that completes a hard demon hind task, and that just also means that I've only got one hard task left, which I can do right now. It's just I just bought the rapid renewal prayer just like a few minutes ago. So I'm going to go ahead and use that in Dungeoneering and uh, finish this hard Demonheim task set. Alright, I completed the hard task set, so that gives me this awesome lamp. So I'll put that in Herblore, of course, 20k, and ooh, 77 Herblore. Three more until Super Antifire, or at least I can boost to it. But uh, yeah, the benefits of all the hard tasks aren't that much better than the medium tasks. I get yeah, the marginal boost. And the elite tasks are still out of my reach, but for now I'm still going to need to do like a couple more hours of crafting and dungeoneering, and then I can uh, move on to prayer and summoning. And there it is, 75 crafting. I just need to get to 75 prayer and summoning real quick, and I can go ahead and do Plague's End. And that's 75 summoning, that was pretty fast. These granite lobsters are really nice to do, because I have a lifetime's worth of granite from the beginning my mining up. And wait for it. 75 prayer, there it is. I can now just go ahead and unlock Elf City, finally. I can just do that quest. Oh, this is such a long time coming, but yes, yes, finally, Elf City. And there it is, completed Plague's End. That boss fight was really easy, actually. I don't remember, like, eh having any trouble on that right then, but uh, anyway, there we go, 50k XP and all those skills, that's so much XP, 
get the um, Trehar Nex Exoskeleton useful for thieving, and of course access to Priffy. Like the biggest unlock ever, I can finally get to Elf City and do so much new stuff, and I can just kind of cross off the Birthorp Lodestone off of my Lodestone list. Uh, just gonna have to home teleport to the um, Elf City from now on for pretty much everything. But uh, anyway, let's go unlock the actual city now. And here we are, this place is so beautiful, just to have. Let's go ahead and unlock this Lodestone. Alright, so now what? <laughs> well, I want to finish off 76 crafting, of course, to get to the ritual of the Mirage Raburger. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Should only take like an hour or two, right? So nice AFK break from that quest. And 76 crafting done, so I can go ahead and do that quest. All the levels required. Oh, and a decorated fishing urn, sir, going to come in handy later, too. And there we go, never have to yeah, say this quest name again after this last time. Ritual of the Mirage Rabber. It's done, get those 380k XP lamps going straight on Herb Lord. Just want that 80 for um, River of Blood and the Light Within. So uh, I don't think I'll get that with these lamps, but I'm definitely going to get a lot closer. 78 agility, cool. So uh, yeah, for the next quests I'm going for is, again... River of Blood, which I'll have to do Lord of Vampirum first for, and then uh, the Light Within for those really nice prayers, or curses, I guess. So yeah, the goal right now, I guess, is to uh, get construction up to 79. I'm pretty sure I have the cash for it now, so I can go ahead and do that. And then I have to uh, work on Hunter a bit to also get that requirement for um, Lord of Vampirum. Another awesome thing about completing that quest is that I can uh, claim... Some additional rewards, right? Um, can't I claim some? Do I have to talk to him? Blah de blah de blah. Uh, eligible for any more rewards. There we go. Sixth aid cir circuit. That's a awesome item. Still don't have 80, 80 prayer to get that lamp, or and also ninety prayer to pay respects. But uh, I've also unlocked the automatons, which is going to be a huge source of super compost for me. Even though I, I should probably get to a. Uh, just turning my spellbook to lunar spells when I want to go on farm runs and doing that for that. But I want a mud battle staff for that, so I guess I'll go to Dagoneth King's uh, whenever I get a Dagoneth's task on my Slayer assignment for that. But uh, for now, that's an awesome ring to uh, have and another awesome Slayer task to have. Guess what unlocking Priffy actually means? It means I have to watch out for half an hour and actually do it whenever it's there. Great. And there we go, hit 1,000 yak tweep stick kill count or whatever, so I can go ahead and upgrade this. Do I have to unequip it? Uh, I probably have to unequip it, but yeah, I was just doing this to get this uh, yak tweep upgraded, enhanced thing, so I can go to... Uh, oh, come on, what do I have to do with this guy? But yeah, just, I'm going to go to Jidinko's now, so I can get a good start on that uh, herbal or habitat. Habitat um, seeds and stuff because I want that witch doctor mask for farm runs in the future But yeah, I'm still working on the 76 uh, hunter 76 hunter so now it's just 79 uh, Construction and then I can finally do Lord of Vampirum. Probably gonna have to come back for more hunter till 77 uh, To get to Grenwalls and I can so I can actually buy the Grenwall tickets from the big chinchampa thing but that probably won't be for a little bit. 79 construction! Alright, now I can go do Lord of Vampirum and River of Blood. Because I'm probably going to get enough XP off of this quest to finish off 80 Herb Lore. And if not, I can always just uh, finish that last XP with the herb supplies I already have. So yeah, awesome. I can finally get my Sun Spear and all those awesome rewards from both those uh, last vampire quests. And there we go, Lord of Vampirum complete. That was a really annoying boss fight. But uh, yeah, I should be able to get uh, 80 Herblore off of these XP rewards, right? 75k, that'll give me 79, then two more 75ks, and 80 Herblore, awesome! Can actually make uh, Super Antifire for boost now, but I'm not going to do that quite yet, because I can now do uh, River of Blood, and the XP rewards off of that is going to give me another level, probably, and uh, that'll make it easier to boost to the Super Antifier. So anyway, let's go ahead and do River of Blood. 
And there it is, River of Blood complete. Even more Herblore XP with the um, quest and the the uh, I did this book. <laughs> ah, I completed all of Dimension of Disaster. Yay! So I think I can afford to get the Dark Light upgrade from just one completion. But here's a lot of combat XP, or just XP in general. It's cool. Yeah, dark light upgrade cost five, and I have ten from one completion. And there's a couple things I want to buy from here too to make it a bit easier next time. Ooh, war priest of uh, Armadale helmets. My first piece of Armadale war priest, not half bad. But um, yeah, I'm here at Armadale because there's been entirely too little PVM in this episode. So I wanted to fix that and get some awesome drops at Armadale, and I have a Evian-C's Slayer assignment, so I can use my Hex Crest here and do a nice DPS like that. And do you, does anyone know if you can actually get kill count without uh, completing your Evian-C's task? Because I tried killing all the spiritual mages and warriors and rangers, and they still count towards the Evian-C's task, so I'm not sure if there's a way you can get past kill count without uh, completing part of your task, but it's kind of annoying. No luck during the task at Armadil, but I guess I can stay a few more kills with the setup I have, so might as well go for it. So I think that's about all I wanted to do this episode. I'm still going to be working on the last few requirements for the Light Within. Just need two more agility levels and a few more crafting levels and prayer levels. All those will be not too bad. Get them in a, in a couple days. But uh, yeah, that's just basically the only other quest I really want to do soon. I guess the Mighty Fall, I should probably get done soon, but whatever. Right now I'm just going to just want to AFK and make some ramen. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode. I'm going to make some urns and then AFK some harps, get my, get my crafting up. And uh, yeah, I do know about the Bracelet of Clay, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm just too lazy to make them.